What's going on everybody? Gas station garbage, uh, back in the saddle. We've got uh, Lizzie Guess back. Guess back. Yay! Back Lizzie's again. Back. Yep. We are at the TA Travel Center truck stop uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee today to uh, sample some of their delicious homemade country food uh, and we went a little southern today. It's This place is like right off the interstate, kind of easy to miss. Uh, we were driving by, what are we gonna do? Found this place, popped in, and they have a quite a spread as far as uh, as food goes. So we were uh, we were excited to uh, to try something out. We chose from the hot bar. Yeah, they had uh, beanie weenies, they had turkey legs, they had um, what looked to be slightly undercooked chicken thighs, hot dogs, nachos, but we ended up uh, going for that uh, country staple Salisbury steak mm. with mashed potatoes with extra gravy. Lizzie insisted on <laughs> getting some poppets. I don't know why, but that's in the bag. Before the gravy gets all over Thank those, you. you may wanna. The fine people were nice enough to provide us also with three silverwares. So Apparatus. we each get our own. It's probably good. And we didn't think this through, folks, because we had them put all three Salisbury steak patties and mashed potatoes with extra gravy in the same to-go box. So, what oh I, dear God. You know what I hate about these is that like you open them up and the little pepper packet, everything smells like pepper in these little things. It always bugged me. Didn't know that. And now the car's smelling like Salisbury steak. This looks awesome. It's falling apart as soon as you touch it. Well, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that meat's supposed to do that, turn into sand when you touch it, but um, we went with one side. We went mashed potatoes, I guess. Nick looks I like can't, he's, I can't. he's diving on it. Lizzie, let's just, let's do it. Does it have potatoes? Mashed potatoes with a little gravy on it. The only comparison I have for Salisbury steak is Cafeteria, cafeteria from it's kind elementary of a, school. A lunchroom staple. I think of a Stouffer's TV dinner. Tender. The mashed potatoes aren't terrible. No, not bad. Cut this with a fork. They're instant, I think. Oh, the gravy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get a smaller piece than that. You shouldn't. You should get, get the rest it's of it. It's almost as if it's fracturing like it wants you to. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, cheers everyone. Ding. One, two, three. It tastes like food really old people would want to eat because yeah, it um, just kind of melts in your mouth. Kind of your, your nursing home cafeteria yeah. type stuff. I'm not entirely sure why we got three of these because I'm pretty sure we won't eat more than one. This was a mistake. Mm hmm. I taste onions. Mm hmm. Let me get some more potatoes. So, yeah, I was about to say, so she asked me if we wanted gravy on the potatoes, and after I saw her put the gravy on the steak, uh, I said no. Somehow the gravy has found its yeah. way yeah. into the potatoes, so it's almost like they're self-gravying. The potatoes are self-gravying. <laughs> the I texture think... of the meat's almost the same texture as the mashed potatoes. I was about to say, it's, the mashed potatoes actually have more bite than the meat, which is unnatural to me, and I don't like it. This is kind of a Meals on Wheels kind of deal, it feels like. It's something that I think our cats would enjoy. Ooh. Pet food. That's yeah. exactly what I was gonna say. I think you nailed it. Yeah, it doesn't taste awful. It's no. just not very appealing looking or texturally appealing mm. either. Here's the thing. Why do you keep eating it, Adam? I don't know. In in meat like this, I always expect to bite into a bone fragment mm. and break a tooth. So far, so good. I like the potatoes more than I like the steak. And now realizing though that uh, I've made a huge mistake not also buying a beverage while we're in here. Salty. Because it is way salty. Very salty. Lizzie, what's our calorie count, you think, on uh, now that we've got our nutritionist back? Nick and uh, I had some questions the last couple of weeks that... Jeez, uh, I have no idea. Let's say maybe 150 calories per steak. Steak? Per loaf? <laughs> Whatever you want to call per, it. Per slice, is that what you Per slice. Um, 150 calories per hunk. Mm-hmm. And what about the taters? And the gravy, probably another, I don't know. Let's get serious though. What are we thinking on sodium? A day's worth. It seems like that's the conversation. It always leads to that when we do these gas station garbage reviews is that historically I think fast food and cafeteria food 
to make up for the subpar ingredients that these companies use to mass produce this stuff, and just chock it full of salt. Mm -hmm. uh, and and there's where your there's where your taste comes in. There's where, so, your, there's where your blood pressure. That's where your blood pressure spikes. So, well. I'm ready if you guys are. Yeah, okay. um, let's, there's no need to, to further delay. The inevitable here is Nick stuffs his gullet I think with Nick another likes thing. It. I'm going to be honest. It's not terrible. We've eaten yeah. one and a half, you guys. The, here, there's yeah, so one this and is half it. Left. Basically, there it is. I'm married to a dietitian. I don't eat a lot of garbage food. So sometimes when I do, it can be a bit of a treat. <laughs> this harkens back to a time when. You know, I kids was in grade. Yeah, when I was in grade school. Kids cuisine. Yeah. That's a blast from the past. I haven't heard kid cuisine in a while. The only thing missing is like a brownie, a hot brownie. A hot yeah, brownie hot that brownie. completely destroys the palate of your mouth as you take a bite into the hot molten brownie. Here at Gas Station Garbage, we rate everything on a very particular scale of one to ten Gordon Ramsay's. With that said, Nick who I think has devoured just as much of this meal as I have, which is pretty impressive given our size difference. What would you rate the TA Travel Center in Knoxville, Tennessee's Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes with self gravying technology mm. on a scale of one to 10 Gordon Ramsay's? Where are we going? Let me get back to you on that, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seriously, for me, think about it. You're a truck driver, you're on the road, you've been driving, you're almost out of your hours, you're gonna have to pull over and sleep. You've been eating chicken nuggets and burgers and corn dogs for the last 36 hours. You want something hot and fresh and delicious. You come to the uh, the TA Knoxville Travel Center and you get a Salisbury steak. It's hot, gravy, mashed potatoes. You think about home. So honestly, for me, this is gonna get seven Gordon Ramsay's for wow. me. I'm right. pretty okay about this. And yeah, you know, this is like astronaut food. This is like almost like dog food, but it has a good flavor. And to me, I get a sense of nostalgia eating this type of stuff because it reminds me of <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> Seven Gordon Ramsay's for me. Well, for me, I give it three Gordon Ramsay's. The first thought I had um, was that it's cat food. That it's the fancy feast or something. Wet cat food with gravy on it. Mm. Hot, heated up and nice and smelly just like a cat would like it. Um, so yeah, three for me. It's The mashed potatoes are the star. The best, okay. the best part. So I'm going to rate this uh, up against all of the other foods that we've done in the last four episodes of Gas Station Garbage. Um, compared to the chicken livers, compared to the corn dog, compared to the tornado or tornado as it were, um, this is probably to date the best thing that I think that we've eaten on Gas Station Garbage from a flavor standpoint. How are you going to go wrong with mashed potatoes, with gravy, and with meat? It's just, it's the southern, it's the southern staple that we all know and love. Again, I say this every week, but if, if I was traveling, came in and needed to eat something on the fly, I would be perfectly fine with this. With that said, I'm going to give this my highest rating thus far of eight Gordon Ramsay's. Ooh. Eight Gordon Ramsay's thus far for the steak. Though appealing, it does not look, it tastes pretty darn good. Again, probably from all the sodium. Well, folks, I think that one's in the bags. We have managed to plow through two and a half Salisbury steaks and about three fourths of our mashed potato pile. Uh, I would consider this review a success and complete. So agreed. As always, um, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment, constructive criticism, non-constructive. Say whatever you want down there. We don't even care. If there's something you want us to try, put it in the comments. We'll look at, we'll search it out, and we'll see if we can find it and make a video just for you. For Adam, Nick, Lizzie, this has been Gas Station Garbage. We certainly appreciate all of you guys. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage. You can find all of our YouTube video links there as well. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.